Hello and welcome back. I hope by now you would be confident enough to write basic transformations in PySpark data frame query. Today we are going to understand how we can get the unique or distinct data from a data frame. We are going to see window functions and in the end we are going to get familiar with Databricks Community Cloud. If you are new and you have not seen our previous videos, I would recommend you to go back and watch our previous video first. Click the i button at the top to check out our playlist. I am in my JupyterLab environment. We are going to generate the Spark session object and we are going to use the same employee data that we have been using in our previous session. Let's quickly run the cells. Great, we have our EMP data frame ready. This is the data in that employee data frame. All the columns in the employee data frame are strength. To begin with, we will first see how to get the unique data from a data frame. Now consider we need to get the unique data from a data frame. We would see distinct on the complete record set. In order to do that, let's write our EMP unique data frame. Now we need to write EMP dot distinct. If we run this, we get our data frame with unique data. Since we don't have any duplicates in our EMP data, the EMP unique and EMP data would be same. But you understand how can we get the distinct from a data frame. Now consider a case where we need to select distinct department IDs from the EMP data frame. To do that, we'll write our new data frame EMP department IDs. We'll select the department ID column. We'll write select and in select, we'll select the department ID column. Now we will select the distinct of the department ID. Let's run this. As you can see, we have got the distinct department IDs from our EMP data frame. Now let's discuss about window functions. Window functions basically provide us aggregation over a window of data. Consider a case we need to find max salary over partition by department ID and order by salary descending. We'll put this in a new column called max salary. To do this, we need to import few things. The first is window function, the second is max, and the third is the descending function. Let's import those. Okay. We need to import window from PySpark SQL window module, and we need to import max, column, and descending from PySpark SQL functions. Now, first we need to write our window specification which is partition by department ID and order by salary descending. Let's write our window specification. So we'll write window that we just imported dot partition by our column is department ID and we need to order by column is salary dot descending our window specification is done let's write our max function for that we will write max function is equals to max of our column which is salary dot over our window specification which is window spec Great. Now we have created our max function which will have the max salary and our window specification is also there. Let's write our new column max salary in EMP1 data frame. We'll write EMP1 is equals to EMP dot with column. We'll create our new column called max salary and we'll put the max function. Let's run our query. Great. If you see for department ID 101, we have a max salary as 70,000, which is the max among all these three salaries. Similarly, if we check for department ID 103, we have a max salary of 62,000, which is the max among these four salaries. So our window function is working great. Let's do one more example. Consider we need to find the second highest salary of each department. For that, we will use the row number function over partition by department ID and order by salary descending. In the end, we'll put a filter of row number equals to 2. 
So we know we need to import window, row number, column and descending first. Let's import our window function and other required functions. Great. Let's write our window specification which is as same as that we did just now. Let's write that again. Dot partition by which is our column department ID. Dot order by which is our column salary. Dot descending. Okay, let's write our row number function. For that, we'll write rn equals to row number dot over our window specification. Great. Now our row number function and window specification is ready. Let's write our new column rn. Then we'll put the filter rn equals to 2. For that, we'll write emp underscore 2 equals to emp dot with column our new column is rn and put the rn function let's see the data first now if you see for department id 101 we have row number 123 where 70000 is the highest and 45000 is the least so our row number is placed based on the descending salary for that particular department similarly for 102 you can find we have 55000 being highest and 48000 being lowest and we have row number 1234. Now we need to find out the second highest salary which is rn equals to 2. So to do that we can just put the filter where rn equals to let's run it now. Great. Now for each department we have the second highest salary and this solves our problem. Now if you find window functions confusing there is one more simple way to do it that is using expr. Let's import that first. Okay, now we have already used expr a lot in our previous sessions. We know how to do it. Let's create our new column rn using expr. For that, we will create a new data frame called emp3 from emp. Now our new column is rn. We'll just put expr. And within this, we'll copy this whole window function. Great. If we run this now, you see we have the same data frame ready. We just need to put the filter now in order to get the second highest salary. Let's do it. We put where rn equals to 2. Now, if we run it, great. Same solution. Now, in certain cases, if you find PySpark API is difficult, you can just write the SQL expressions within expr to get your work done. This is as simple as that. Okay, time for bonus tip of the day. Today we are going to see Databricks Community Cloud as a bonus tip. Now, in order to create a free account for Databricks Community Edition, you need to go to community.cloud.databricks.com and you can just sign up. Once you sign up, you land in a home page like this. Now, you have several tabs on the left hand side. The important ones are Compute and Workspace. First, you need to create a Spark cluster for yourself. For that, you need to go to Compute and click on Create Compute. Once you are in this page, you can just type a cluster name and you can just click on Create Cluster. Once that is done, you will have a cluster like this up and running in few minutes. Now, Databricks will provide you a share compute cluster with 15 GB of memory and 2 core. If you can see, the Apache Spark version is 3.3.0 and you also have Scala installed in this cluster. You need to go to workspace and you have to create a notebook. Once you have a notebook created, you can just go ahead and type spark and run it. If you can see this spark session message, it means your Databricks notebook and your cluster is up and running. Now Databricks provides us with spark session by default. You can use this spark session and start running your code immediately. So consider you need to create the employee data frame. You just have to copy this paste it here, run it and just go back, copy the create data frame command, run it 
And now if you run emp.show, see your EMP data frame is ready. So if you are not able to create a local environment in Docker, you can get started with Community Cloud Databricks right now. This was all for today. See you in the next video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.